it's time for the champion we all knew would rise to finally have his opportunity. The legend known as Weevil will get his win. Long has he been thwarted by plot armor, but now, the best duelist in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history will have his chance to duel Pegasus and win Duelist Kingdom. You ready, Mario? Big shoes. Well, probably very little shoes. He's a small guy, but... <laughs> yeah, Weevil totally didn't cheat and uh, anger the one person he probably shouldn't have angered on that ship. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. Toons are incredible. Um, there is much to be afraid of, but I have a handful of monsters. Why am I letting you go first? Yeah, it's actually better if I you go if I let you go second because you still can't attack on the second turn. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we'll drop a Tomb Kingdom on the field, and we will play one card face down. End my turn. Nice and simple, nice and light. Honestly, pretty bad two hand, but I do have Tomb Kingdom, so I can't complain. Or I won't complain. I will not have that karma brought down upon me. After all the now let me all the tune hands I've had in the past. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna normal summon my B Trooper Scout Buggy, Lovely. and as you know, Scout Buggy's effect is that he can bring out a second Scout Buggy. Stacking up the bugs, but you know the the buggies look a little lonely, so I'm gonna bring out another level three uh, Twin Bow the Attacker. Okay. Good thing the monster no. I put out has tons of defense. It probably not. Yeah, it does. It probably doesn't. It's got over a thousand. Way over a thousand. Well, somewhat over a thousand. And I'll play my B Trooper Descent to bring out another one. Okay. Just to bring out, use all four monsters to bring out Giant B Trooper Invincible Atlas. It's a big beetle. Okay. You know, I know the best thing about a U kit, it's not allowed to be tuna five. Yeah, it can't be targeted, right? Yeah. Yep, no. Cannot target it with card effects. No comic hand stealing away your big bug. Well done. I'll simply have to ignore the bug like I tend to do with bugs. Alright, anything else? I'm gonna activate, yeah, I'm gonna activate my invincible atlas effect. Oop. To bring out actually the B Trooper Sting Lancer. Because the thing I actually learned is, you actually can bring out the Invincible Atlas with all the returning back to field effects, so. Okay. And then activating that. And I'll get a card that you think, or you're gonna probably think is annoying. My B Trooper Flying yes, Sting. Yes, very much so. Might be the best card in the deck. Told Killing it was that, honestly. Yeah, I told you he had more than a thousand defense. Oh no. <laughs> I tossed one of my comic hands away with that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, there's only one thing to do. Special summon, Harpy Lady. No. Oh, yeah, that does work, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> I will normal summon another two, and I guess. Because that's all we got. We got two fours, so we could try to do some, some trickiness here, but nope. We're just going to go for some attacks, get some draws, and hope everything works out. Uh, yeah, because that's not quite going to go as far as we need it to. Could go there, but that's kind of silly. I will do battle. Attack your life points. Give me a draw. Because I would very much like some searching. That's not searching, but I'll take it. Um, do I use it? I may. But let's see, that's not an option against you. You got some good stuff in your graveyard, of course. Yeah, it's probably worth doing this. I will get rid of these two lovely monsters on the field to bring out Toon Blackluster Soldier. Activating him to banish this card, I guess. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> get it out of there. I couldn't even, you didn't even let me try to activate it on you. Good. I don't know if it's because you already oh, used one this round or it's because I timed yeah, it, but. Yeah, I already used it, yeah. Then that is absolutely the right move for me to do. <laughs> Once again, nothing crazy going on on my side of the field, but I'll take the little victories I can do. Ooh, Doki Pole. Alright, once it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add stuff to your hands. Lovely. And what about 
got that other monster dragon bite. It's a tuner! Uh-oh. Normal summon my battle wasp pin the bullseye. Okay. I could try to bring out another invincible atlas, which... It would crash with you and probably not do anything because you yeah, probably wouldn't protect. make it survive. You gotta get real crafty. Yeah, me okay, just having a strong monster on the field is very different than me having a two mass sorcerer. I bring out Diablo, Ooh. Diablo Lantis, the menacing mantis. I use its effect. Well, Diablo I use two effects. Fun. Okay. Target a. Thing. I also treat it as a tuner. I also use go. Yeah, I also use Goki Pulse effect. I can add to my hand the B Trooper Assault Roller. But I can then send cards to my graveyard. Equal to the amount of cards that I sent there. Okay, so I guess uh, one. used as a material. Yeah. No, two. Oh yeah, because uh, the little guy is not a tuner either. Okay. Mhm. Mm Very nice. More bugs to the grave for you then. Yeah. I don't remember what wants to be in the graveyard for the B troopers, to be honest, but most B troopers, because like I said, okay. remember they can re return and all yeah. that. Yeah. Mr. Graveyard's kind of got plenty of uh, targets to work with already. Okay. What do you control? Treat as a... Ryan, also, if I remembered to do this, I could have... Uh, I can turn... His other effect is I can turn another card on the field, on another one of my Insect or Plant cards, into a... Uh, yeah, into a tuner. Into so a if you had more on the field, then you could have set up even another Synchro. And probably go into, like, uh, level 12 of some sort. Possibly, yeah. I'm gonna activate my salt roller from the hand. Lovely. You can switch by banishing one insect monster. You have him. Yeah, and that's I'm a I'm gonna four. banish my resident insect. Nice. The resident insect Ooh. activates effect. Alright, add another a card level five straight to the from deck to hand. Nice. Oh, if it's banished, sorry. You send an insect from the deck to grave. Mm-hmm. Now send Goki Pole. Nice. I believe Goki Pole's effect has already gone off this turn, so mm -hmm. that's good. Uh, let me see. Yeah, nothing I can really do to destroy you, but I do have some menacing monsters on the field, I guess. So. Yeah. And it's like. I'm not sure what I want to do, because normally it's like, all right, destroy them all, or just ignore them and attack directly. I have a lot of attack points. There's options here. Um, okay, so we will not be using that this turn just because it's a great backup plan. Um, is it worth activating this now? Yeah, sure, why not? There's always a chance of us getting another Black Luster Soldier to the field. So we'll do all that, and we will put onto the field the powerful... Don't mind that whatsoever. Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Now you have some effects you have the option to activate. What might those be? Or his internet might be dying. That could also be the case. Truly unfortunate. No, no, no. Uh, so, no, someone was like, I think a bird hit my window. Oh. All right. That's poor bird. No, it's like. Yeah, no, I saw something, like, flash at my window and then heard a thunk. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, now we can finally <laughs> get ourselves a little bit of protection here. And I think we want to go real crazy and go with a comic hand. Well, because we have targets we can hit with it. So let's do that. And then just kind of have a nice flooded field here. Would have probably been smarter to get the negate, but that's fine. Um, do we just go for the strongest monster on the field? I guess. I can't really read effects right now, so we'll just grab him. Ah, ooh, and he can use his effect. All right, Diabolantis, what's your effect? Um, if I control him, I can target an insect monster. I control or plant tree. That's a tuner. That's not happening. I can send insect or plants from my deck to the graveyard. What are you going to make me do? Oh, <laughs> he treats himself as a tuner. Fantastic. I can now go into, from my extra deck, uh, a couple things, actually, funny enough, that maybe I will consider doing. Because I have monsters that can attack here. And will I use my Red Eyes and Dark Magician to have extra good things going on? Perhaps. Perhaps I shall. Let's do it. Let's kind of rush you this turn. The Metal Flare Dragon. Just to get those life points nice and low. 
So we can drop you down by five right now. So it'll be pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll do some direct attacking. In fact, if I just attack into that guy, I'd probably still win. But we'll see. Attack directly. Yeah. Attack directly. And no, I don't still win. However, I have a very mean card on the field. Oh, and I have to attack. Oh, no, I don't. It wasn't glowing for some reason. But there we go. Um, You have two moves. You have one move. Yeah. Yeah, that should kind of seal it. It's always good to have some uh, extra deck options in your toon deck. Not that I think Pegasus would have used this card. Well, Pegasus would have done whatever. He don't have a personal set of rules for himself, does he? No. The fact is that... <laughs> kind of low moral even just, code, even. I can't even attack over any, your monster, either. No, I chose your strongest one. I put out two strong ones of my own. One's not even a tune, so he's not protected from, by that effect, but he's also just a good you know monster. What? I'll, I'll just burn myself. Yeah, out on your own terms. All right. So it was a slow start for me. Uh, you know what? Let me switch my deck real quick. We'll see if we can give you a, oh. a shot. Okay. Rematch. Or not rematch. Leave. Game is up. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. All right. Would you like first or second? I'll, I'll take first this time, I guess. All right. Now it's time for me to enact some revenge upon you for little Yugi. All right. There we go. This is gonna be fun or terrible. I don't know yet. I'm playing a weird On deck. Normal yeah, I'll play this, which allows me to play out another scout buggy. I think I'm writing a fanfic with this duel. That's what I'm doing. It's gonna be a good one. They might kiss. Wait, what? What? Oh, they're three uh, scout buggies. Okay. Is, is Kayla making you watch Twilight again? No, but we did watch Hunger Games recently. You ever notice that the ending of Hunger Games is the exact same ending of Game of Thrones, everyone? I never thought about it, but it's crazy. They stole all the actors, and then they, you know, then Game of Thrones got them back by copying the bad ending. Wow. I, I get it now. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Okay, this is going to be fun. I will oh, begin no. by playing a little Toon Bookmark. Let's get this out. We're going to need it, you know. It's a Toon Deck, after all. Sort of. Um, now we're going to do a little bit of this. Um, since we already used the bookmark, we're just going to go for a stew. Yeah, let's get this boy. We need to get one of our monsters in action. So, that'll all be the case. We'll do that. I think I do have to play him in attack mode, just because you're not going to attack him if I set him. And we're going to wait on this. We're going to wait on this. Because, man, I don't remember what it does. And I will end my turn. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And if I look up what my cards do in another program, I can beat this glitchiness that's happening with me right now. Sure, I could have just restarted my program and it's probably already fixed, but that's fine. What do you Let's got? Let's see. I'm going to do Goki Pole right now. Okay. Do another token. Yes. Maybe it was a bad idea putting this guy in attack mode when you can literally swarm the field with monsters. But yeah. so far they're weak Wait. monsters. So I'm actually gonna do this. Alright. Big beetle time. I'm going. Yeah, big beetle. Let's do it. Oh, wait, no, I have no, I can't do. If I do big beetle, I get rid of my negate. Uh, negate's probably important. Yeah, so instead, I'm gonna do. No, I can't. Oh, I can't use non tokens. Ooh. Oh, no, that's why. 
No, the Beat Trooper tokens, right there. I have to use monsters of different names. Yeah, and you have two tokens on the field currently, right? So. Little tricky. Maybe bring something small out, see what can be done. Or just hammer away at this guy, but you don't have attack points. So it's probably not the best move. Mario? Me. No, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, the best way to deal the most damage to you, because right now it's like... A lot of my cards require me to... To just uh, bring out... Like, to discard a card, but I don't yes, have a card in my hand Yeah, it's not right really now. an option for you right now. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Yeah. So, I'm going to use my two tokens to bring out... Armor Horn. Okay. So, of course, but... you don't get the extra normal summon off him, but... You can use mm -hmm. him. Now I can do it. Okay, I had to bounce around a little bit to get to my Bafillion. Wasn't that much bouncing but around? I was... <laughs> so yeah. Link monster on the field. Okay. This allows me to search to my hand. The Dragon Bite. Okay. Now let's deal some damage yeah, to Yeah, it'll hurt. I'll of course protect myself. Fortunately, that's all I can really do, so it'll be your turn. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. This might work out. This might work out. Still waiting on you. I'm trying to remember. Is this card in some Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. By playing a token, I will play down my goalkeeper back. So that way I can potentially use this send to graveyard effect again. Nice. Okay, hmm, this is actually quite tricky, but it could be insanely wonderful. So, let's make something happen. I am going to reluctantly put my monster to defense mode. I kind of wasted it being in attack mode, um, but I have a new plan. Draw a fate. Never mind, I made a, I made a really poor judgment call early on in this duel. Oh, oh no, what did you do? Uh, Did you shuffle your deck and thought you knew what your next card was? No, no, no. Um, I just, <laughs> just running an Exodia card deck. Uh, if we're gonna be honest, and uh, you see, Toon World might randomly banish certain cards, right? So uh, uh, things may have happened. So we're just gonna play tunes. It's fine. Everybody loves tunes. Um, yeah. Okay. So that. Uh, okay, I banished my foot, okay? I banished my foot, and I thought I was about to win by Exodia, okay? I banished my foot, Mario. You banished your foot? You were trying to Exodia me? I was trying to Exodia you. You want to hear my fanfic? You you threw those cards off the edge of the boat, but Pegasus found them. And, well, that would be... Except there's one issue with that. Didn't Joey pick up two of them from the water? Maybe. He found... <laughs> he made more cards than... <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't, right? honestly. Pegasus out there swimming in his little Pegasus Speedo, getting those cards. We've all imagined it. Uh, and then, let's see, activate this. Someone made a video, I think, not too long ago. That was like, what if uh, Yuki still had Exodia during Battle City? Honestly, he would have lost so quick. It's terrible for a regular deck, especially one like his. No draw power. You gotta think, he even beat the guy who was cheating with uh, multiple Exodias. That was like Exodia's best chance. I think that's what happened. Alright, well you have a lot of monsters on the field, I'm terrified. There we go. The, the menacing mantis. Activate the effects. This will allow me to add to my hand. By my kaiju. Good stuff. That is not. That is immune to you. That can, won't be protected by your tune world. Okay. And I will send to the graveyard my goalkeeper. 
Gokipo will allow me to add to my hand my B Trooper Assault Roller. And then I will activate the last effect of this one to special summon back out my Resonance Insect. Just so I can... Just a lot of things you can do. Yeah, I'm gonna use my Goki Pole, the Resonance Insect, my Pavilion. Oh, okay. Well, first off, I'm actually gonna get rid of that before that becomes an issue Yeah, later. that's probably a good choice. Ah, yes. Good old bug. The Mystery Dust Kaiju. They never tell you what that Mystery Dust is. They never do. As some people going a little too crazy about it. Let me tell you, they'll be mildly disappointed. All right. Well, go ahead. Bring the power. Finish me off. Do this. Okay. I add one level five or higher, but I also activate the return to deck, which allows me to discard my troop roller. Sure. To return my my gondola back to my yeah. to my deck. I like it. And then I can add to my hand my Doom Dozer. Yep. You do have the attack points to finish me, so. Well, but you. I do just remember your Day of Peace, don't, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I did play Day of Peace, so it's still on. I also forgot my Day of Peace. So this could actually turn into a very annoying duel for you. Okay. Let me see if I'm remembering that correctly or not. Do you still have Day of Peace out? Yes. Darn it. All right, if I get any Toon Monster, I may be able to protect myself. Now, where am I going to find a Toon Monster? Ooh, there's one. Right, let me see. Doom, the Toon Dozer. That's what we'll call that one. Okay, next up, we will set a card. I may as well play my Toon Table of Contents. Now that's going to get me one of these. And that is going to get me. Do I really try to win this duel after all this nonsense? I don't know. We will find out. That's with that I can search. Um, I guess we'll just do the night game. Yeah, sure. Get my deck all thinned out, you know? And then this is indeed the only tune we have. It's waiting on you once again, Mario. There we go. We will, however, offer you a card. And then promptly, um, get rid of it. So let's just toss Exodia Piece into the graveyard. Mario, you don't have a choice. There's only one card. What's going on with you? <laughs> Pay attention to the game. And battle. So you got the Doom Dozer right now, but yep. what do you destroy though? Your life. What's, what's no? Because so I've been trying to figure this out. Why can't I negate? Oh, you wait. You target it though. How could I not negate the Comic Hand? Um, what was trying to negate it? I'll take a look for you. Oh, the Cicada King. Oh, it's a monster effect activates. You have been only activating spell card effects. Yeah, right? that's ma mainly what I've been using. Right. No, I was so confused, like, why I couldn't negate that comic and Like, I thought I had set up the field to negate it. My B-Trooper flying thing didn't even try to try to negate that. Mm -hmm. Oh, monster effect. Neg oh, all my effects are in monster effect negation. I can't stop your comic hand with anything. It's too good. That's why comic hand is such a meta card. If only it was. Right. <laughs> Imagine if you could sneak comic hand into other decks. Oh, yeah, you can change of heart. But of course, playing it in a tune deck is so good to just turn him into a tune, so I can forcibly attack directly. Oh, that's doing some stuff. That's kind of scary. Ah, uh, he's back. Yeah, Resonance Insect. Then another one to the grave. I'll send a my Scale Bomber. Mm-hmm. And let me see. I don't know what else. Well, I guess I could do this. So I'll use. I have to use the Pavilion. And my scout buggy. In order to bring out the invincible Atlas. Sure. Because 
I can just attack with him, and he will be unaffected by all your effects, so... Yeah. You'll be able to deal 200 damage. And also get rid of your direct attacking monster. Oh, can he get rid of it? Well, he's unaffected, so I'm gonna see if it works or not. I mean, I'm not affecting you, am I? I'm affecting myself. Oh, right. I need to figure out a way to get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. Anyway, you know what else is annoying? <laughs> there you uh, go. Oh, darling, it's not a monster effect I'm using. And to the grave can go. Exodia piece. So I just Cicada was able to negate Exodia. Great. Good for him. That's why I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> I don't want no, none of that happening. Okay. Well, I'm going to cheekily win the duel just because tunes are overpowered. Whee! Let me see. I'm going to tribute that monster away. Okay. So I can special summon... Yeah, my Sting Lancer. Okay. Sting Lancer will allow me to grab. Nah, I might as well negate. Let's keep this duel nice and simple. It's not nice and simple. No, it's <laughs> simple for me. Ah. Let me live. Next. That's why I said, do I really try to beat you after playing like this? It's not nice, but. All right. Do I not have? Oh yeah, I need multiple monsters to get into. I should have kept all five uh, solemn negates that were originally in this deck. <laughs> Jeez. Seriously, that that would have been annoying for you to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, attack directly. Yeah, sure. I'll just keep using my other cards to take care of everything else. Oh no, that was the, that was that machine deck. Never mind. <laughs> okay. That was the bandit keep deck. Well, I can activate this and. Negate oh, nice. it so you don't set, keep sending cards and I guess force you to banish, which I'm hoping I'd banish one of your Exodia pieces. At this I point. banished my own way early on, otherwise, I would have had a very early Exodia win. But so I'm kind of disappointed. It's it's a tragic flaw of the deck, well, <laughs> rest assured. The concept of the deck is well, you can't beat me if I just have a defense mode tune on the field. However, if I get an Exodia piece banished, that's not really a win condition, is it? And yeah. On to you. Get rid of your uh, Doomdozer. I am trying. Do this so it stops activating. Do that. Send to the graveyard. The head of Exodia. Oh, I am out you of can't obliterate now. At least you can't target the giant bee trooper. Yep. He sure is safe. You know, just to assure that you can never. Quick, get to my hand the rest of you. I need three more obliterates. Literally kept the, uh, I could have discarded it, but I kept the, uh, this card just so I could get more <laughs> obliterate targeting. Would have, would have been nice right now as a kaiju. Yes. Very the kaiju so. would have saved me, actually. Yep. You burnt it early. No, I have two. Uh, oh, okay. there's two insect kaiju. I mean, they're in the, the deck anyway. You sent it, it back to deck? No, I only sent one. Oh, I okay. didn't send the other one back to deck, no. Gotcha. Well, all right. So I'll send that. My Goki Pole will allow me to search out a card. If Goki Pole let you search kaiju's, that'd be huge. But it's that only... would be good. Yeah, because like dinosaurs can search a kaiju. Why not bugs? I'm... Wait, maybe I can actually. Try to make it happen. So I'll do this. Then I'll activate by tributing it oh. to get the scale bomb around the field. When resident insects are sent from the field to the graveyard, I can search out a bug from the deck to the hand. There you go. Don't you hate it when you find out that you had an answer all along? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can bounce back. I don't have another choice. I need to draw a card to save myself here. Obviously, I still got obliterate to slow you down for two turns, but 3,000 is still 3,000. Yeah. Activate. Yeah, I'll banish this card and get back that card to the field. Okay, oh, well, that's not a healthy answer. Okay, I think your bug, your big beetle, might just cut it out for you. So, we'll use the only thing we can do. And I will set another card. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. End my turn. 
Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll summon out the scale bomber again. Yep. But I guess you can immediately obliterate it. Yeah, why not? Buy myself as much time as I can. <laughs> All right. Well, let's attack and see what your face down is. It's probably a tune that's probably gonna. You didn't draw another tune, did you? No, that would have been nice. Now, how many obliterates do you have left, though? Uh, well, zero now, but. Oh, is your is your other piece your left your right leg, huh? Yeah. No, your left leg. The other leg. Uh, darn it, I got nothing. This is my time. I think this is this your is time. This is my time. You just gotta put 1,400 attack points on the field. That's 12. I could. Hold on. Hold on, if I... You know this can all be <laughs> turned around with one draw from me, so if you have the win, take it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna hate myself if it doesn't work out. Tribute it to gain 2,000 attack points, but he's not immune to your card effect targets anymore. That's right. Okay. But I did tell you I, I thought you had a... Great. So, yeah, fair enough. I know. <laughs> I was able to guess that by looking at the... Yeah, too. true. I mean, you can't but... see the one in the banished, but... No, but I did get... You did say that you were... Yeah. You accidentally banished, like, one of the feet legs, mm -hmm. so... So there you um, go. But no, I was scared that your face down was a toon hand or a comic hand. It's not a quick play. Oh, is it not? No, it would be way scarier if it was, but it is not. That would be so much scary. That play card would be played so much more. Oh, yeah, it would, it would be Widow Anchor level if that were the case. But, yeah, it's, it's still a very good card, and I'm happy to have it. It just means tunes don't quite get to be meta, unfortunately. Oh, well. If it was quick play, you think it would be meta? No, there's a lot of other downfalls of tunes, but, you know, it's there's there's really highlights of tunes at the same time. So at least Weevil got to get a win in. Um, you got to destroy Exodia cards multiple times, it would appear. And the uh, <laughs> story lives on the, as we know it. Weevil, Weevil is the kryptonite of Exodia, apparently. It would appear so. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And you left a like on a video. You've subscribed at some point in time. Because we'll see you next time for another video. See you, folks.